Hi everyone, it's Diffusion All here. Welcome to Bolivia! Today I'm gonna play a bit of uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. It's a pretty new game, it came out uh, March this year. And uh, I played about like 10 hours with this game so far, which isn't too many, but... Uh, oh, hello boy! But it's fairly enough to just share my thoughts and uh, a bit of a review about the game. So as you can see, this is a heavily guarded area. Okay, this is the Unidad Firebase. We're looking for the captain who's in contact with Yuri and Polito. We need the target <laughs> alive. Roger that. Polito! Ay ay ay! We wanna hunt down fucking Polito in this area actually, but not in this mission. The task here is to locate the Unidad Captain, well, with the drone, uh, whatever. I mean, the thing is that uh, we need to get some info from the uh, commander of this base. And, uh, oh, 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 just, oh, man. Hang back, that tango might spot you. Fucking tango, that guy is sharp up there. That's a sniper. I think first we have to take that guy down. It's just really dangerous. Yeah, but anyway. Uh, I'm trying to sneak into this base instead of uh, killing everyone here. Because these uh, Unidad soldiers are really strong. And I'm not uh, on a very high level yet in this game. And look at this. Goodbye, boy. Alright, we're all clear. We are clear, that sounds good. Alrighty, I'm just trying to find a good spot to get into we that base. In but first maybe just uh, check from the rooftop, that could be easier. I'm not sure. What is that inside? Okay, we're cool. We're cool. If we're cool, that's cool. Ah, okay. This is just a supply stuff for the rebelitos. Up. We got hostiles in the area. Of course, we have hostiles in the area. Yo, eyes on the grunt over there, near that crate of comp gear. Oh shit, balls! Four dudes over there. So anyway, until I just uh, investigate this area, just quickly share my thoughts about the game. Well, overall, I really like this game. Although I've heard a uh, couple of bad uh, like reviews about it, because uh, the teammates who are actually uh, standing in the other building up there. So the, those teammates are stupid and uh, they don't do or well they do what I ask them to do but uh, they just do stupid things and, and shit like that but I mean hey this is just a computer game so uh, I think it's fine they work fine and and uh, when when I tell them to shoot someone they they shoot that person or persons actually without any mistakes so those guys are cool and uh, I can rely yeah. on them big time and in, uh, in tough situations uh, that's one thing. Uh, the other one is the uh, basically the vehicles and the driving system in this game. Deploying the drone. thing is, okay, the drone is up, so maybe we can locate that fuckhead. So the driving system. I played this game on PC, but I've heard uh, a lot of complaints about people mostly playing on the PS4 that uh, driving is a pain. Uh, well, maybe that's the thing the with the console. But to me, Sniper, it's pretty top cool. Of the tower. So there's actually another sniper up there. Here we go. Got it. That's Eyes the guy dead, who has to be killed for sure. Otherwise he's gonna spot us. Yeah, there's a couple of motherfuckers here. And uh, yeah, the target is there. Okay, I see sniper that guy. The, tower. It's the yellow. There's another sniper actually. Yeah, two snipers up there. Okay. So driving works for me really well. And actually the handbrake uh, turns are, are very cool. It's one of the best uh, I've, I've ever seen. Also, 
the graphics are just awesome the feel of the game is priceless the guns are just super detailed the textures on them are, are really nicely done the 3d models are just I got one really cool soldier. over there in the bunker what where ah oh that bumper okay thank you very much my friend da so these are the good things but there are bad things <laughs> obviously so for example this one here when i have to just uh make the orders uh for the guys i have to press tab and then uh, scroll with the mouse to find a good like order which is usually fine but uh when we are in the middle of a heavy gunfire it just uh doesn't work very well and not beside it's just breaking up the gameplay all the time but anyways uh, it's it's something we can we can and uh, we have to live with and there is actually a guy over there and it would be too risky for me to just uh yeah there is another one out there Shoot. so i think i'm just going to uh make an order now and that would be that would be a good sample to see how reliable my people are. <laughs> hold your position. Okay, hold boys. And first, just have a look inside in this area. The sniper up there in this tower is just taken down already. And there are other two. Okay, 94 meters. That should be fine. Okay. That works. And that one. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, that's not that good. Okay, so this order wheel isn't a great thing. And also sometimes weird things happen with the characters in the game. They just uh, standing on the water and, you know, these kind of stupid things. But probably the, the biggest bug <laughs> in the game, which is really funny, is with your teammates. Uh, and no, they don't do stupid things. Uh, I can actually point you a really good video by Scott Chambers, who is the late night killer. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can just uh, find a link to this video in the description of this video. Uh, it's in uh, Scott's channel. So he is just calling it a massive flaw and yeah this is a massive flaw in the game so go there and and watch it because it's really funny um yeah so the other one is the por favor guys down there those are the rebels in the cage the thing is if i unlock them they just uh come out obviously <laughs> so far so good and then oh hello boy you are my target but uh Okay, just take the bread. I'm not. Oh fuck! If I miss it, oh, I just cannot miss. Awesome sniper! Yeah. So back to the rebels. If I unlock them, they come out and uh, they just start shooting at the Unidad soldier. So everything is going to be fucked up. So I'm going to keep them in the cage. <laughs> until I finish with this mission and down here is the best sniper ever <laughs> I actually found so far in this game the other weird thing I could mention uh, is saving or auto saving because there is no way to like manually save uh, your progress in the game it uh, occurred a couple of times that I finished the mission then I had to redo it again because it just didn't save it despite of saving it but anyway La vida non es perfetta. Okay, I think uh, I see all those fuckers who are pretty far from here, and I don't want to shoot at them. Otherwise, I just make a huge mess here, which I want to avoid. I'm trying to sneak into that building and uh, get the info from that guy. But maybe first, uh, there are two Unidad soldiers at the entrance. And I think I just call one of my buddies to take them down, or at least take one of them down. 
I just wanted to show you how cool this uh, function is in this game. Okay, that guy over there is just uh, too risky for me to shoot, you know? To position. Target's marked. Just so here we word. go. The target is marked. Copy. Target marked. Look at that. Ah, fuck you Target again. Set. Ready to assault. Okay, boys, find the position. Oh, target's marked. Just say the word. <laughs> that, that was it. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Just say the word. And he's a fucking dead man. <laughs> ah, unbelievable. Okay. Where is the other one? I think he's inside. In that fucking barrack. Eyes on an Unidad grunt. In the bunker. Uh oh. Yeah, in the bunker, oh yeah, here we go. So boys. Okay, they are inside. It's just uh, not possible to take them down from here. But at least I know where they are, which is kind of important. Sneaky, sneaky! 80 meters, my target. Oh, it looks like an entrance over here. Or, I mean, <laughs> it's not an entrance, but definitely a point where I can just get in. Oh, but that guy is way too close. He might just spot me. So let's go back to the uh, original plan. This here looks like a really perfect open door. Alright, slowly but surely. Alright, and uh, now just get back to the review for a couple more words. This isn't really a bug, but uh, it might affect. It's, it's an important thing and might affect uh, your experience in the game. Move is there. that there is tons of Roger. missions in the game, but many of them are the same, basically the same. They are in a different spot, but the task is the same. Just steal the helicopter, for example, and uh, that's, you know, the helicopter is on a mountain top or in a field or in just a ranch or whatever, and stay there with guards and things like that and you have to steal it for example this is uh, a mission which repeats itself a couple of times in different areas so it might be boring after a while but uh, you know there is many missions so you don't have to do them because uh, according to my experience so far they don't have a direct impact to the actual progress of the game like you know, just uh, getting a sueño. But uh, these missions can help you a lot to to be like a better soldier. And you can level up yourself a lot faster by doing these missions. So overall, my final verdict about this game is that it's, it's a really good game and I do recommend it. It might be uh, too much for 60 bucks. I actually paid 60 euros for it, which is even more, but uh, I'm sure it's gonna be on sale, or maybe it's already on sale, I don't know. It's not cheap, but it's a really good experience, it's a, it's, it's a great feel to play it, despite of the uh, mostly funny bugs and uh, sometimes annoying, but mostly these bugs are just funny. But now we are reaching our target, almost. The guy is uh, on the balcony. Look around and... Hello, boy. You are the captain. Fuck you, captain. Pendejos. 
Mierda. You may as well kill me now. I'm not talking, carajo. Well, that's your choice. But with a pair of sick fucks like Yuri and Polito, one day they might be you hanging from <laughs> the ceiling. I love this conversation. You can't trust them. It would be a relief fucking if I Polito. took them out of your life. Look, I'm not a snitch, but they just say, <laughs> yeah, they freak me out. The thing is, they're not even in Itaqua. So call them back to Itaqua. Tell them you've got a package ready. Un borrego. Vale. Oye, Polito. I got a lamb ready for delivery. Un borrego. Vale. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite part. No man, we finally got a 20 on Yuri and Polito. The activity cross-referenced the car's GPS with that description you got from the prisoner. Uh, blah, blah, blah. They're at a hunting lodge. Rumor has it they use that spot for their enhanced interrogations. Send us the location and we'll take care of it. Put them in the ground for me. Make sure they feel the pain. Oh yeah, they will feel the pain. Ah, uh, here we go. Nueva misión. It's always good news. But first, I go to the Ribalitos and uh, unlock them. So they can kill all these unidad soldiers. This is generator over here. Which in this part of the day doesn't really matter. But it would be a big help if I just attack them at night. And I can uh, basically turn off all the lights by shutting down the generator. Okay, I don't think... Yeah, these are just my bodies. Okay, rebels. I set you free. So they can kill them. Okay, collect the guns and... Blah, 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 blah. Do it. See you guys. You can do your fight here. And this is actually the end of the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.